Hey guys, I know this is going to be a weird video. I know it might not get a lot of views, which that's fine because this is something I wanted to talk about. Something that means a lot to me, sort of, I guess. And you might look at me and be like, hey, you must wear a tinfoil hat. Maybe. No, but anyways. So <laughs> I'm actually excited to talk about this thing because I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, this has been something I, you could almost call me a conspiracy constitutional scholar. Doesn't have quite the ring to it, does it? Damn, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at that at all. Okay, anyways, so let's, no, enough of the joking around, because I'm not very good at jokes to begin with. So, there is something... Ever since I was old enough to look up in the sky and see the stars. Something that, till this day, I am super intrigued by. You know, I devour all kinds of media when it comes to this. Documentaries, uh, subreddits. Um, the, 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 it just goes deep. This, this iceberg goes really, really deep for me. And it's, I'm excited to talk about it. And I, I try not to ramble. This is kind of an, a piece I want your guys' opinions on. Now, like I said, I know it's probably not going to get a lot of views. It's not, not quite what we do, but this, I wanted to change up a little bit. So, what am I talking about? So, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, old enough to understand, to look up in the sky in the dark and see the stars, I always wondered that one question. Are we alone? That's a loaded question. A really loaded question. Now, depending on your beliefs, this may be a really straightforward answer. Now, some people, you know, uh, a lot of Christianity, stuff like that, they believe that, you know, it started out with a big bang, uh, seven days. And I'm not here to dispute that because, you know, I, I consider myself heading towards Christianity. Like, I, I have, I feel like I, I started going to church again. That's what I mean. But I, I want to tie, kind of tie my beliefs in with religion. And we won't make this a religion video either. We'll talk about it just for a moment. And a lot of people think that's taboo whenever you try to tie things to a religion. Now, if my grandpa was alive, he'd be rolling around and, like, he, he'd beat the shit out of me probably. Well, probably not. He was a gentleman. Um, he was a preacher too. And anyways, I never got the chance to talk to him about these things. I always wondered, like, now what it would be like if I was to talk to my gr grandpa, if he was still alive, like, hey, what, what do you think? Do you think we're the only ones in this massive universe? It could be multiverses, layers upon layers, infinite timelines. Do you think we're the only ones here? And that's a question a lot of people ask, and I, again, it's a loaded question. I would like to know what your opinion is on it, because it's... It's cool. It's cool to me. It's really cool. And I and I like to talk about these things. And I and I want to be open with you guys. I want, I want you guys to know, hey, I'm not just sweetie content creator. I'm I'm a big nerd <laughs> that likes stuff. But anyways, anyways, I, you know, I devour all kinds of media when it comes to aliens, UFOs, rather it be like documentaries about Area 51, Ancient Aliens, as cookie as that show is, if you guys haven't watched it and you, got, and you need a laugh and also open your mind up a little bit, watch that. I'm not saying that's top-tier TV. I'm just saying that open your mind up a little bit. Uh, if if you smoke pot or something, do it. Drink a beer um, and enjoy. It's probably better if you're smoking pot or something. Maybe mushrooms. I don't know. It got, but you open up your mind a little bit and... All these crazy theories, these theorists, and they're always like, it's aliens. It could be like a one thing. Man, the ice cream machine just broken. I'm not going to say it was aliens, but it was aliens. And <laughs> I, You know, I, I say that like it's a joke, but if you watch the show, you'll, you'll understand why I'm saying that. But ever since, I think it was prior, like during COVID's beginning... We started seeing things come out that did not get a lot of attention. Um, if you heard of the Tic Tac video, um, 
as well as uh, there's a ship thing it's, it's on a radar and it flips over like that and it goes belly first into the sky or into water I, I don't know like the tic tac I think it goes in the water and this was all caught on like air force like fees like radars and uh, infrared stuff like that this is real stuff you can actually look it up and there was no nobody knows what it is and it wasn't until recent like the United States actually had a um a conference I, I guess that's what you would call it um an open forum to talk about these things now they did show like other evidence and they say hey you know there's stuff that we don't know there's stuff out there we don't know what the fuck it is we how am i supposed to know dude and you know people say hey maybe it's uh another country's crazy technology maybe it's the united states crazy technology I do believe there's stuff out there that we don't know about, but we'll probably never know about. But I always wondered what it would be like if, say, tomorrow, President of the United States gets up there, if he remembers right, if he can remember what he's saying. Um, yeah, sorry. Joe Biden, Joe Biden joke. This isn't an anti-Biden thing either, so don't worry about that. <laughs> it's just funny. He's He's really easy. Trump was really easy to make fun of, too. But what if the president got up, had a an emergency announcement? What, what do I call that? An emergency broadcast? The president gets up and he says, hey, this is me paraphrasing. I, I'm sure the president don't, doesn't talk like this. He's like, hey, you, you, you guys watching the TV. Um, you know, we've been, uh, we've been hiding some shit from you for a while. Like, um... Yeah, there's 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 aliens. It's no easy way to say it, but there's aliens. They're here. They're everywhere. Like we 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 lie, we lie to you. That they they exist. Uh, there there's tons of them. Like interdimensional beings, multiverses, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's all real. You wonder what the public would think. Like, would the public be like panicked in this kind of situation? Like. For real, for real, what, what would the public, mass public, how would that be if, you know, president of the United States or any other country, uh, dictator, whatever, I don't know, king or queen comes out and says, hey, we're not alone. As a matter of fact, they're here today. Here. And uh, there's some in space and there's some, there's a multiverse, which I always, always thought the multiverse theory was really cool. You ever have like deja vu or they say your dreams or I'm trying to think of another thing. Uh, the Mandela effect, it has something to do with the multiverse. Now, again, this is my tin foil hat stuff, guys. This is my tin foil hat stuff. What I think is real. This is real to me. This is all real to me. I, 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 I eat this shit up. I, I, I'm not kidding. You know, I, there's nights that me and Monty would go out. Nothing else going on. All the lights are out. We look up in the stars and be like, hey, it looks pretty nice. Hey, what's that thing that's moving? At? Whoa. Cool, man. When I lived in Illinois, though, that was pretty cool. There was hardly any light pollution there. And there'd be nights that I would drive in the middle of, like, where I lived. It was like a big farm area. Nothing for miles. So one of the things I would like to do, and I sometimes I did it by myself, was I would drive, stop on the side of the road, get on, get out of my car, lay on it, and just look up in the sky. The sky, I've never seen clear night skies like that in my entire life. And it was beautiful. You could see things that you never thought you'd be able to see in your entire life. Well, if you're me. It, it was it was shocking. Shocking. And, you know, I still like, one of these days I'd like to make a trip to that and I'd have to get a special camera probably to show you guys. It's really neat. It's really neat. Um, I mean, there, there's I, the place I live at right now. There's a lot of light pollution We're it's not a big city, but we have it's our tri-state area has got a quite a bit of, you know, industry, um, you know, shopping complexes, whatnot, schools and everything like that. So the lights are just especially our bridge we have this big beautiful blue bridge for some reason 
Hey, if, if you're ever in Ironton, if you ever come down this way, come here at night, check out the bridge. It's pretty cool. I, I don't understand why we have a big blue bridge, but it's it's pretty cool. And, you know, it, it's just, it's weird. It's weird because you can look up in the sky, like, from where I live, out in the country, you can look that way, and you can see in the clouds, you can actually see the blue light from all the way from here. So if you wanted that kind of, you know, wanted to know what the magnitude of the lights are, that's pretty far away. I'm a good three or four, maybe four or five miles from the bridge from where I'm at. And I live out in the country, so, but there's still a lot of light pollution up here because we got a lot of houses and stuff that, don't turn your fucking lights off at night and <sighs> sucks because our neighbor like right in front of us has this big obnoxious light on their porch and they won't turn the damn thing off. And I, you know, I, I <sighs> gotta be cool. Gotta be cool. Can't talk like that on YouTube. We're not sweetie. We don't try to say stupid things on the internet. Well, I say stupid things on the internet all the time. This whole conversation is probably stupid to a bunch of you guys. <laughs> I'm actually excited. You know, <laughs> the other day, uh, Monty came over, and I wanted her to watch one of my favorite movies of all time. Probably think of Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, um, something along that line. I, though I do like Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, and stuff like that. One of my all-time favorite movies ever made is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. You can watch that movie now, and it still holds up. Uh, it does. It really does. It holds up really well, especially um, the technology that was used in that to time to make. This was Spielberg at his, you know, peak, I think, because, I mean, this was prior to E.T. and stuff like that. But this was peak Spielberg during that time. Now, Spielberg, he he rarely dips. Sometimes he does. Like my favorite movies by him is uh, Schindler's List, uh, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, <laughs> Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, I don't like E.T. for some reason. I, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I just... I just never liked E.T. And I do like the collaborations between him and George Lucas with uh, Indiana Jones, which you know, is pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, there, I'm sure there's other... Oh, War of the Worlds. War, I actually watched it the other day. War of the Worlds. Now, you can watch War of the Worlds on Netflix right now. It's got Tom Cruise in it. And you're probably thinking it's a stupid movie. It's awesome. And it's highly underappreciated, in my opinion. It's a great movie. Great movie. Um, if you like Tom Cruise and you like to open your mind up a little bit and see that kind of stuff. Another good one. Another good one is Signs. I I'm going to be listing movies this whole entire conversation. We're only 13 minutes in. I don't know if you guys are going to hold on that long. But again, I always wondered what would happen if us as a species, humanity, finally finds out we're not alone in this universe. What would that do? Now, you, you're going to talk about how that's going to affect, you know, not just people. It's going to affect a lot of things. Technology, religion, the law system. So sorry about that. Sorry, but sorry for the abrupt ending to that. <laughs> it wasn't the end of the video, I promise. I was on to something, but I got a phone call that was a very, very important phone call, and I had to take it. It was like, that's why I'm wearing my glasses and everything like that. Um, I don't know why I was wearing my glasses. I don't know why I put them on. Maybe it's muscle memory, or I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was doing. But anyways, what I was talking about before this happened and this stuff this thing that just happened uh over the phone was well, let's just say a weight has been lifted off my shoulders i have the best job i've ever had in my entire life best job i ever had and i love everybody there okay and it's important that whenever and this is going off subject it's important that if you have a job that you love you do your best you overdo your best. You not just 100%. You go the distance. You go 200, 300, 400, 500%. You just go. 
just do everything you need to do to make those people happy. And that's what I like to do. I like to do this in a lot of my things. But we're not here to talk about that. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. So where I left off, uh, was talking about how things would change. Um, and I've said religion, law, just life in general, um, just any of it, really. You're, 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 you're just like one moment. You think you're the only people in this entire universe. And the universe is huge. I don't know if you know this. The universe is massive. Some say it could be infinite. We only see an observable portion. I don't know how big it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. I mean, it, it takes thousands of years for us to go to another galaxy. Maybe even millions of years. We, it's unquantifiable. You just can't, like, hop in the spaceship and go to Andromeda. You just can't do it. Like, I wish it was cool. I wish we had warp drives and shit. But anyways, so, you know, religion. Just think about that. How would that affect religion? How would that affect law in general? How would that affect your human being, your life in general? Now, we talk about things like this. You know, what if an alien race came and was like, hey, remember that time when Christopher Columbus came to the United States and uh, fucked up all the Indians and gave them disease and stuff like that and killed them? Yeah, it's going to be like that. Usually in an advanced civilization, usually probably most likely if they was to come here, they're coming here for a couple of reasons. I'm not saying it's going to be like chaos. It could be, it could be, but we... Honestly, if it was, if it was chaos, you know, we, we think as, as a nation, as a world dominance, like human beings, we think we're, you know, top of the food chain. We are the top of the food chain on this planet. But now we are introducing alien technology. I know, again, I know, this is weird. This is really weird. But I mean, we wouldn't fare, we wouldn't have a chance. I mean, if, some, if a, a race is able to go the distance to get here with that technology, their technology may be millions of years ahead of ours. Shit, we, you know, we think it's cool whenever we get a new iPhone. They're, over there, they're using stars as energy supply. Even our galaxy is an energy supply. A big old Dyson sphere. That's a whole nother thing. I, 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 I'm having a lot of fun talking about this. It's one of my passions. Uh, I'm geeking out right now. <laughs> I really am. But it, one of two things are going to happen. Maybe three. So advanced civilization knocks on our door. We make communication. SETI does this thing. Then it goes through the chain of the command. And we finally talk back to them. Well, it could be peaceful. They can be here be like, hey, uh, we would like to uh, have you a part of our big galactic order. Um, you, you guys have grown as a species. and we feel like you uh, can be a part of our team. We'll just call it Team something. Team American World Galaxy Police. Something like that. I don't know. Or, or another thing. They came here because they're trying to warn us of something that's going to happen. Like, to us as a species, not from them, but us. They're going to be like, hey... Not cut it out. Quit killing each other. You're going to blow each other up before you even get a chance to spread your seed in the galaxy. Or, or, you ever seen Independence Day? Like that. Like, there's not going to be any, like, viruses that goes into the mothership. It's going to be one-sided. Heavily one-sided. It's going to be like taking a firecracker to an ant farm. That kind of thing. And anyways, it's just uh, it's just crazy, you know? Crazy to think. And I know, like I said, I know this is weird. I know it's off the charts. But I'm excited. I, I'm excited to know, hey, I just want to know if we, we have neighbors. I would be fine with that. I, I just want to know when I'm looking in the sky and I see some object, I don't know what it is. I'd like to know what that is. I think... I, that should be our right to know that. And I think the biggest problem is, you know, 
higher ups in our world, like the, the judicial, you know, the government, stuff like that, they think that we're not ready for this. Like we wasn't ready for COVID, which we was. For the most part, COVID sucks. I had COVID. My, a lot of my family had COVID. But we were almost through it. Like it's still a thing, but it's probably always going to be a thing at this point. It's going to be like the flu. We made it. We understand it. We beat the odds. You know, we done a lot, dealt with a lot of things in our lives. Things that we never thought we could accomplish. We made it to the moon. We have, we have a watch on our wrist that is a hundred times more powerful than what was made 40 years ago. You know, these big towering computers with kilobit memory. Or, you know, my wristwatch, which is, you know, Apple Watch, it's, it's a mini computer. And it's powerful. And we don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow. We don't. We're, we're not. We don't know. We don't know what it's going to be like How in the future. It'll be like, let's think 10 years from now. It's hard It's hard to picture yourself 10 years from now. I know when you're a kid, you're like, hey, I want to be a basketball player. I want to be a football player. I want to be a cheerleader 10 years from now. I'll be, you know, a sophomore in high school. That's what I want to be. Now, as an adult, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen 10 years from now. You know, 10 years ago, I didn't think I was going to uh, file for bankruptcy, but here I am, filed for bankruptcy. But also 10 years ago, I never thought I would have a job like I have. I, I never would have thought that I would have this many people willing to watch my videos on YouTube. We're, we're, we're almost at 1,200 followers. That's fucking crazy. I didn't know that was going to happen. And that's why, that's why I think, like, I think we as a species, even though we want to blow each other up, we don't trust each other, we hate each other's guts, I think if we come together as a species, I think we're, we're ready. I, I think we're ready already. I'm ready. I don't know about you. Are you ready? I am. Before before we keep going, and I'm sorry, this is this is the most random video, and I'm sorry I geek I am geeking out so bad. <laughs> I could talk about this shit all day, but I would like to open up a dialogue with you guys. What do you guys think? You know, like I said, if maybe five people watch this video, you know, I am thankful for that. At least you, at least you, you know, took the time, gave me a chance. That's, that's what I think. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely. Appreciate you. I love you. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, I may try to get some videos out. I don't know yet. Uh, got a lot of plans. So, but I love you guys. Every single one of you, even the haters. I still love you. Um, you're still welcome here, even if we disagree. So, I'll see you guys later.